In a sunny garden lived a cheerful little ladybug named Lily. Lily loved exploring, and most of all, she loved beautiful leaves. She had a special little bag woven from a soft green leaf, just perfect for collecting her treasures. Lily loved to wander among the flowers and peek under broad green leaves. Always searching for the most beautiful ones to add to her collection. Today, she was very eager to start her leaf collecting adventure. As Lily wandered, she spotted some lovely green leaves, their color as bright as a sunny meadow. Perfect, she thought, and carefully reached out with her tiny legs. One by one, she plucked the soft green leaves and tucked them safely into her special leaf bag. Now, Lily's leaf bag held green leaves, her very first treasures of the day. She smiled, knowing her leaf bag was holding something special. As Lily continued her exploration, a flash of vibrant red caught her eye. There, shimmering in the sunlight, were leaves the color of a juicy strawberry. Lily had never seen leaves quite so bright before. Oh, how lovely! She whispered. Carefully, Lily reached out and gently touched one of the radiant red leaves. She decided she would love to add these beautiful red treasures to her collection. Now Lily had a decision to make about her leaf bag. She loved her green leaves, but these reds were so special. Lily decided to make a little swap in her leaf bag. Carefully, Lily took out a few of the green leaves. And placed them gently on a nearby leaf. Then, with excitement, she added the bright red leaves to her leaf bag instead. Oh, now Lily's leaf bag had some red leaves instead of only green ones. This leaf bag could hold different colors. Lily giggled, realizing her special bag was like a little container that could hold different treasures at different times. Continuing her leaf collecting adventure, Lily hopped over to a large lily pad near a sparkling pond. Sitting on one of the lily pads was a friendly, plump green frog named Freddy. Hello, Freddy! Chirped Lily. Well, hello there, Lily! Croaked Freddy with a smile. What lovely leaves you have in your bag! Lily proudly showed Freddy her collection. I have beautiful red leaves and some green ones too. Freddy nodded thoughtfully. Those are lovely indeed. You know, Lily, I'm decorating my pond home for a little gathering. Do you happen to have any yellow leaves? Lily looked into her leaf bag. She had beautiful red leaves and some green ones, but no yellow leaves at all. Oh dear, Freddy, I don't have any yellow leaves right now. Lily said with a slightly disappointed tone. But don't worry, Freddy. I'll see if I can find some for you. Lily exclaimed, her usual cheerfulness returning. And so Lily began her search for leaves the color of sunshine. She peeked under broad green leaves and looked closely at the petals of bright yellow flowers. Now Lily's leaf bag held even more treasures, red leaves and yellow leaves. And carefully placed them into her leaf bag with the red ones. Carefully, Lily collected a few of the golden yellow leaves. Just what Freddy needs! Lily exclaimed happily. They glow like tiny pieces of sunshine fall into the ground. 
Finally, near a patch of tall sunflowers, Lily spotted them. Beautiful golden yellow leaves. Excited to help her friend, Lily hopped back towards the sparkling pond where Freddy was waiting. Freddy was still sitting patiently on his lily pad, his big green eyes watching for her return. Freddy, Freddy, look what I found! Lily called out happily, holding up her leaf back. Freddy's eyes widened with delight. Oh, Lily, those are perfect, just the sunny color I needed. Carefully, Lily took out a few of the golden yellow leaves from her leaf bag and offered them to Freddy. Feeling happy to have helped Freddy, Lily continued her walk through the garden. Soon she came across a small green caterpillar munching slowly on a leaf. Hello there, Lily said softly. What a lovely leaf you're enjoying. Corwin stopped munching and looked up at Lily. Why hello? Yes, it's a very tasty leaf indeed. Lily noticed Corwin looking curiously at her leaf back. You have such colorful leaves, Corwin remarked. How many red ones do you have in there? Lily peered into her leaf back. Now, her leaf back was holding red leaves and yellow leaves. She would need to count the red ones for Corwin. Carefully, Lily began to count the red leaves in her leaf bag. One, two, three, and Lily announced proudly. Corwin nodded slowly. Three beautiful red leaves. Thank you for showing me, Lily. Lily smiled. It felt good to share her treasures and to know what was inside her leaf bag. Knowing what was in her leaf bag helped her share with Freddy and tell Corwin all about her red leaves. As Lily continued her garden stroll, she noticed some leaves that were a completely different color, a warm earthy brown. These leaves were dry and a little bit curled, with interesting patterns on their surface. Oh, these are different, Lily thought. They're not green or red or yellow. Lily decided these special brown leaves deserved their own special place. So, Lily carefully gathered a few of the brown leaves and decided to find a new container just for them. Nearby, Lily spotted a small fallen flower petal curled into a little cup. This will be perfect, she thought. It was just the right size for her special brown leaves. Carefully, Lily placed the brown leaves into her new little petal pouch. Now she thought, my leaf bag holds the red and yellow leaves and my petal pouch holds the brown leaves. Lily had two special places to keep her leaf treasures, each holding different kinds of leaves. Just like you can have different boxes or jars to keep different things safe and organized. With her leaf bag full of red and yellow treasures and her petal pouch holding the special brown ones, Lily had a wonderful idea. She found a large flat stone in a sunny spot in the garden. Lily decided to create a beautiful leaf mosaic on the stone. First, she carefully arranged some of the vibrant red leaves in a circle. Then, she added some sunny yellow leaves between the red ones. Finally, she carefully placed the special brown leaves around the outside, creating a beautiful border. 
Lily stepped back to admire her beautiful leaf mosaic. The red, yellow, and brown leaves created a colorful and interesting design on the gray stone. Soon, Freddy Frog hopped over to see what Lily was doing. Wow, Lily! That's beautiful! exclaimed Freddy. You used all the lovely leaves you collected. Corwin Caterpillar also crawled over to see the colorful creation. It's lovely, Lily, Corwin said thoughtfully. You used the red leaves from your leaf bag, the yellow leaves you found for Freddy, and the special brown leaves from your petal pouch. Lily smiled. Her leaf bag held red and yellow leaves, and her petal pouch held the brown ones. Each container kept her treasure safe until she was ready to use them for something beautiful. And just like Lily used her leaf bag and petal pouch to hold her different leaf treasures, in the world of programming, we use special containers called variables to hold all sorts of information. Numbers, words, colors, and more. These variables help us keep our information organized and ready to use whenever we need them. Just like Lily used her leaves to create something beautiful and share it with her friends, so keep exploring and remember how Lily's leaf collection showed us a little bit about the magic of variables.